I'm making this video for a friend of mine who uh, has never ironed a shirt in his whole life. And he needs to because he's taking a, a new job and he's going to have to wear a button shirt. Okay, so this is how easy it is. It comes out of the washing machine. You hang it up. I recommend hang to dry because then the shirts last longer. Okay, the dryer tends to wear out the material faster. Um, so hang to dry. I do the first button like this, and then when it's dry, we will iron it. So to begin, right now it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel like an awesome shirt. It just kind of feels like it came out of the washing machine. So the first thing to do, we're going to do this in steps. It's the same step every time. Collar first. I'm putting the collar down uh, front side, I guess. And this is hot, set on a, a cotton setting, and it's like half steam. Okay. I'm not really putting any weight, but I'm letting the iron do that, just back and forth a couple of times. Great. Now the collar is done. You could starch it if you want, just spray it on and then iron, but I don't need any starch. Now, the next thing is to get this little patch here behind the collar, right, across the shoulder blades. I'm going to iron that now. It's really kind of easy. One, two, three, four, like just a couple of seconds, right? Now that that is done and the collar, the next thing to, to uh, tackle is the sleeve. So. What I'm doing is I'm sticking my arm up the sleeve, I'm spreading my hand inside to kind of grab the, the seam and stretch out the seam, lay it flat. I want to create a crease here and I've got my thumb along the seam on the inside so that it lays down like that across the seam. See that? We'll, we'll, we will see it again when I do the other sleeve. At this point, I've got the uh, lint brush to take away some of the lint and cat hair or whatever. Okay, now really simply, I want to create that seam. The weight of the iron. Now, creating the seam is actually easier than not creating a seam because you can just lay it down and wipe the uh, iron across it. I might turn it over briefly and delint while we're here. Okay, other sleeve, same routine. Okay, I'm going to uh, keep in mind I've got the, uh, I don't know what this is called, but this is up. I put my hand in. Now this time I've got my pinky finger against the seam and my hand is spread like, like this inside, right? Like I've got it inside like that and I'm going to pull out just like so. So as I do that, the seam over here gets formed properly, kind of lay down like this. Okay, lint. You could even, I mean, if, if the shirt is wrinkled badly, like if you're lazy when it comes out of the washing machine and you end up just throwing it on your bedroom floor, Bad idea, but if it's if that's the case, you're going to need to spray the shirt a little bit, like just with a water spritzer, because the water will help to uh, you know allow the iron and the heat to, to really do its job. Delint the other side of the sleeve. Okay, now we're about half done the shirt. Okay, we're done the hard part. So far, we've done the collar, the shoulder blades, the two sleeves. Next, I'll do uh, the uh, the front, okay. Now this shirt is shaped a little different. What I might just do here is grab the, from the shoulder, the crease on the shoulder, and do just this little portion, and then I'm going to reset the shirt, okay? Because I want to get that, and I want to get right in here. Whoa, oh, little mistake there. Use the steam to correct that mistake. Now I'm going to reset the shirt so that this seam. And basically, the shoulder is across the uh, the ironing board. Okay, so I've got it laid flat. Run the delint brush. Okay, across the buttons, down the buttons. A little bit of 
pocket. Whoops. Into the pocket. Now, as we do this, the heat actually makes the cotton feel better. Like when you put this back on, it, it feels like a brand new shirt. Now I'm going to do the other front plate or breasts or whatever you call it. I don't know what they call it. Um, remember, I'm going to get just this little piece here and then I'll reset the shirt so that I can get the whole piece. So ironing a shirt just takes a few minutes. We're nearly finished. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, like everywhere I run the iron, I want it to be flat. So I, I can form this as I go a little bit. See that? I want to get in between these buttons. And this was causing some grief, so I'm using my other hand to kind of pull the cotton. Right. But that's an important piece there because, of course, everybody sees it. It's right under your, your chin. Oh. Just the weight of the iron. I'm not pushing. Just around that was the armpit. Okay, great. One last step then. I'm going to do the back. So again, I've lined it up so that this seam is on the edge of the ironing board and the shoulder blade here is at the top of the ironing board. Lint brush. So this allows me to do about half of the back and then I'll reset and do the other half. If you create a wrinkle while you're ironing, then the only way to get out, get that, uh, or to solve that problem is to use water and uncreate the wrinkle with water, with heat. So you, I would like spray the area and just redo it. If you want a really sharp crease along your sleeves, use a bit of water. No need to iron this little piece because uh, it's kind of a stylistic thing on the, the shoulder blade on, under the shirt. Um, it's meant to puff out a bit. It's not meant to be a hard crease, this little thing. You see that? Let me get this all out. crisp here. When I button it up, it'll look good. It won't look like it was folded. You know, this will, this will hang nicely. The, um, the sleeve is, it has a crease in it, not too hard, right? Not too sharp. If I wanted it sharper, I would use a little bit of spray. Now, this is hanging naturally. It's meant to puff out a bit. It's not meant to, uh, I guess it's a pleat. That's what it would be called, a pleat. See? There. Done. Yeah.